Hashtag Tiwa Day 2017. Or maybe Tiwa Day 2017. No, no, no. no. Wami Day 2017. Wait, Tiwa. Can we say Wami Day 2017? Watch the hashtag for Tiwa and Mide. Put it down below in the comment section. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Adenike Adebayo. I'm a Nigerian movie blogger and blogger as well. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button next to it so you can get notifications every time I upload new videos. So, Skinny Girl in Transit is back. Yeah. I can't believe I've actually been dating this entire yummy goodness for a few months now. So I've decided to do weekly reviews or weekly recap of Skinny Girl in Transit every Friday as they are uploading their own. I'm watching it, we are talking about So let's use this place to do our rants and bants about Skinny Girl in Transit. Oh, by the way, if you have not watched episode one, you do not want to watch this video. Go and watch episode one first, then come back here and we'll talk, all right? Good. Episode one of season four starts out with Tiwa on the Lake Ikoi Bridge jogging. She meets this guy, he's hot looking, shirtless and stuff. But I think she handled it well. I like how she handled it. Like, you know what? I know you want to chat and stuff, but in my in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, you know, I have a boyfriend, I'm not interested, okay, bye. So I like the way she handled it by just saying, you know what, it's nice to meet you, but I gotta go, and then she left. Next, there's apparently an OAP who is having an affair with a married man, a musician, a married musician, and that, that was very, like they kept repeating it for a few scenes in the in the episode, and I thought, okay, that might be something essential. And then we see Tiwa and Mide on a date, uh, you know what guys I don't think I've ever loved an on-screen couple as much as I love these two now when I see Ayola, Ayola with any other person I'm just like that doesn't look right <laughs> and they have such good chemistry together it was so much fun watching them Tiwa's mom is still there she's even more desperate now for Tiwa to get married waiting for Ayo, uh, sorry for Mide to propose to her by the end of episode 1 we find out that the person who was having an affair with a married musician was Adiza I was like okay that pretty much adds it up so I think that's their way of telling us that Adiza won't be coming back to Skinny Girl in Transit not this season anyway I feel like I'm going to miss Adiza. I think she I, I, she brought some sort of, you know, spice and controversy. And, you know, that love-hate relationship was very good, made it very interesting. But unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be seeing Adiza this season. But episode 1 of season 4 was very, I think it was a bit laid back, just trying to establish uh, the ground facts. Like, okay, this is where we are since you last saw us. And just trying to catch us up on, you know, slowly ease us into the new season. So what was that thing for you that stood out for you with episode one? What did you think about episode one? Let's continue the conversation down below and then next week we'll be back here again to talk about it. If you want me to do this every week, let me know down below. Let, let me just talk. Let's just talk about this series that everyone is going crazy about. Till I see you guys again very, very soon. Remaining God, remember to subscribe. God bless you. Mwah. Bye guys.